Hey guys, and welcome to, or welcome back, to episode 4. I will be ca carrying on straight from where we left off last time. And, I, episode 5, no, no, episode 4 of Life is Strange comes out tomorrow on Tuesday. If you've got it on Steam uh, or on the PlayStation 4, it's just coming out on both on on the same day. So if you've got it on both, you'll have noticed that um, there'll have been an update for it, but you're not getting anything with it. It's to pre prepare the game for the new DLC or the new episode. So um, we, with this, we're going to be carrying on straight from where we left off. Um, we've got entry going. Um, We'll see where we are carrying on from. Ah, we're carrying in, going into here. And um, let's. Um, if you remember, uh, I will talk about Life is Strange when I'm playing it tomorrow. When I should have it up within the next couple of days. I might not be able to have anything up for Thursday because I'm. I might have been working, but as of right now, I am Roderick, not in work, and my weekend work is finally over. What's wrong, Mother? Well, it's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester, and oh, sure. things mm. got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. Uh, He's right. To we must He's hurry far. before must things get by. He's gone too far. He's gonna see what happens when you harm a member of my family and mine. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here. I in understand minutes. that. I need every one of them. Get them ready to Make do damage. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. Oh, still no. here. Mum and Dad would say that it looks like I'm going to rip Listen my head. From my I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm coming with you. I know so five off games now to have a bit behind and doing my playthroughs, but I'm I gonna get to this all done in one uh, shoot then. and I will split it up into several parts to make it easier for people to watch. I'll do it in uh, half an hour parts for everyone to watch to make it easier. And the last part might be about forty minutes because um, if if it uh, if it goes on if, if it's the timing is not quite right, so I'm not, uh, I'll try and uh, that's usually how it works though. Uh, I'll, I'll try and make each episode about the same, uh, but each part of the episode the same length of time to make it easier to watch. You let that fight faster! No, I tried. You'd have tried harder for a false letter. My lord, please. I am the only lord who matters here. Roderick! Help me. Tell your dog to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're She's to my bitch. She ain't my honey. I'm gonna horse. take you down and you watch your bloody tongue. <laughs> or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. What's going on here, Griff? He's disobedient, just like you were, Roderick, <laughs> before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. Oh, my hand. <laughs> Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not the Lord, and I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking <laughs> Oh, he didn't like that. Oh. Is he gonna go all whiny and start going back to daddy? <laughs> My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Go ahead. Come at me, Grey. Come on. My fucking pleasure. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, what's the cripple up to now, eh? Fancy yourself a warrior? You are nothing, Roderick. Just give up. No. Nope. Uh... Not today. It's 
accept it. You're just embarrassing. Mess that up. God damn it. I'm just a little fucking fool. If I do oh, another play in my in my own past, I'll get that. Who that would be problems. What are you waiting for? Kill anyone. Take, take their weapons. weapons. So sexually on my moves sooner. What are you doing? Drop it! Now. This is my hall! You have no right to be here! <laughs> yeah. I'm no. sure I sure you do. Sure I'll do. Give me a Get your hands off me! Maester, are you alright? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Ruth Bolton. I did oh, warn you. Okay. You can away me. Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone. <laughs> 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 Is this the man you'd rather have? It's cr- <laughs> Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? You need to stop! <laughs> My eye! Roderick, listen to me! Oh, no, no, you can't. Why are you protecting? I'm not protecting him. I'm protecting Ryan. When Lud hears of this, don't you realize what they'll do to him? If you kill Griff, Ryan will be the one to suffer. Get out of my way. I can't do that. I want him dead, believe me. But not at the cost of Ryan's life. Besides, he may still be useful to us. It's all right, Roderick. Just knock him out. Least I could do. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. Stiff shoulders. <sighs> I'm always apologising for this. Sorry if there's any glare from my um, glasses. Words cannot reach high point. You must it's be sure. Annoying, I know. Not until we want it to. Kill the ravens. All Stop of them. Stop any messages from getting on. Mm. Oh God, she's drunk. So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there. Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage. But in a set of bloody hell, I will not let you bark orders at me. I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck do you What are you, you gonna know? do? When I dare swinging a fucking. Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? <laughs> you fucking bitch! Oh, Break it up. No one can on each other. Hey, Jesus. come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Throw at me before I break her fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. Oh, Are you afraid your that. mother will spank you? Yes. I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both yes, of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Mr. anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> Croft doesn't know stop trying to hit me. <laughs> will you stop trying stop to trying hit, hit me and hit me? <laughs> Whatever your problem is with Croft, just let it go. You think this is about Croft? You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? You're the only reason I'm even fucking here. 
And you told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. Just talk to me. Why have you got some old marine? She's gonna be like a true like previously a slave or something, is not she? Is this what you want? There's gonna be something going on there. <laughs> Fucking hell! Get off me! Can't. Tell me what are you so afraid of? I was a slave. Thought so. Here. There's two options. She's getting too angry. I was taken from my home and years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pit to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started. He started sending other children. Jesus. Grim, that's dark. I butchered everyone of them. She has a way of words. After a while, Didn't I told him she fear was gone. You, but you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. Perhaps so she had to kill her best friend. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Yeah, you need another day, let's go. Definitely after that sort of story. Yeah. Thank you, little brother. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor so. Dezor is what I Because of that man. Mm -hmm. Uh, we might have to look out for that name. Not, not have to. We might all just fit into place Marine and I'll find him. city but... of dead children. Never know. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Commons coronation. <laughs> you shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Vera, I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? I need to speak with Lord Morgrin and Andros. One of them might be working against my family. Doing what? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. And I'm not really interested in joining you on her bad side. Please, Sarah. I know you're probably angry with me, but I need your help. I don't know. Please. Fine. But you owe me, understand? She's with me. You know the one thing that's with the with the, 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 the game, the Telltale Game Fountain, is that 
unlike the series of Game of Thrones, there is no sex. There is no nudity in this game. So violence to celebrate to it? Loads and loads so of violence. But no actual Game of Thrones nudity as what is in the series. It's odd. Really is. And what if I did? you get like so used to watching it from the series, but it's not actually in the game. Mira, Lord I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess, that now. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Mm. <laughs> you flatter me. Lovely. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little lobes. <Stop> it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Is there someone you'd rather be talking to? I have to take care of a personal matter. Oh, don't let us stop you then. If you'll excuse me. Hmm. Sorry if there's a little bit of a jump. This there, reminds me of but, the um, tourney at Lannisport. Yeah, no, the recording of the side of the story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Okay, now let's have a look what I need. Oh, I can eavesdrop. Mm. Okay, let's eavesdrop on his conversation. And more on uh, more green. And why would you ever stop dealing iron? Is there no longer a demand? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving oh, on. So he's no longer the dealing the with the uh, Andros with the wood. No, no, no. Or the I can the see wood. I'm not giving oh, away well. my secrets just yet. So that's that, okay, that's what's going on with that. Huh? Okay. Eavesdrop on this conversation. It is long, but I know how to speak. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Right, I can see that, yeah. And this is what good for you. The white holes. Well, I've got my family. Okay. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Okay. Let's have a talk with Morgan. <laughs> uh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I may oh, ask. You must have made quick work of so it. I need to, I need if I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if I'm talking to me, you must want something. 
When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. But now Lord Andros seems to think he's the only one working for him. So what happened? It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner, the bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. We have a common enemy, man would be nothing without them. Quickly people forget where they started. It appears we have an enemy in common, Lord Morgrave. I hadn't thought of it that way. Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and his new partner, Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. <laughs> Leave him alone. Please excuse me. We need to talk to Lyman Lannister. Okay. Yeah, so it seems like we eased up again. And a Lannister, too. Uh, I thought we were done talking about this. You asked me about my friends. Uh, friends, yes. Lyman is your business partner. What's the difference? Uh, fair enough, Andros. And if my friends happen to protect me from the crowd, all the better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I need more wine. So he's gone to Lyman not only for business, but also for protection as well. But as a precautionary man. Shrewd. It's definitely true. Very shrewd. Um, excuse me. Lime Lime Lannister. Lannister. <laughs> you startled me. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So. Oh, sorry. I'm not to that. Bring you over here. I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? From what I hear, you're in the business of making rather important deals happen. Well, I don't know about that. Come on, don't be modest. I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't That's be brilliant. pleased, I'm sure. You can trust me, Lord Lyman. I won't tell anyone. I... well... I suppose Lyman, I could just... What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Oh, I just got the attention of everybody. Lady Marjorie. Well, quick, hide in the corner. Lady Marjorie. Thank you. <laughs> Lady Mira. Right, let's see what this guy will do. That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just 
Be careful. I'll trade you. All right. How about we trade? There must be something I can tell you. There is something. I'm curious about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. Not you sure must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that anymore. Heavy bloody bottom, I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. I might, if I have to. I'm quite serious, Mira. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Mm, well, now, if you'll that. excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira. Okay, let's go talk to the line again, see so if we can get proper information on it. Can't go around that you have to step on it, I guess. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, Shut up. Just, just leave. Just be quiet, Lyman. Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I know about your situation, Lyman. How you were hurt in Lannisport. How painful that must have been. You don't know what you're talking about. It's no wonder you still need milk of the poppy. No, I've never... It can't have been easy. Andros has been holding that over my head for years. Then don't let him. Andros was wrong about you, Lady Mira. You're kind. Well, in my own way. And you should know what he's... <laughs> I should warn you. Andros is hiring swords, Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Oh, God. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Lord Whitehill won't be slaughtering anybody. With an army that size, he'll slaughter whoever he wants. But this is... It's only fair that you know, Lady Mira. What you do with it is up to you. But, I'd better get my affairs in order. What did I tell you? I've had enough of this, Andros. She showed me what you've been doing. I'm done.
Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. As have you, my lord. Because I know everything you're planning. And I'm going to destroy you. He is going red. <laughs> Tomato things. Okay. We're on a roll now. Right. See that map again. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Harry, almost out. Can't lie to me. This won't last much longer. If Finn wasn't eating all of it, it's not me. We'll have to stop soon. Look for some food. We're on the right track. This way. Person, feel that noise. Not white walkers, not white walkers, um, free folk, wild ones. Oh yeah, it's not like they can they're not gonna to see you there, is it? This complains <laughs> things. You stay here. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Wait, what? He's a fucking wildling cutter. They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, alright? She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. No, I'm a, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardholm. You know it? I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. I'm... Oh! oh. You sure look like a crow oh, to I'm me. Not. You're dressed like one. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend! Or I'll make him scream first! He's not alone! I knew a little crow wouldn't wander off by himself! Leave them be, alright? Just... Well. Just take me! Let him go. That we're just passing through. We didn't mean any harm. Right! You and your fuckless men just want to kill us all and take our land. But you didn't mean any harm. Oh god. What have I got myself into? I thought we knew where we were. I thought showing myself was a mistake, wasn't it? I should have stayed hidden, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should have stayed hidden. Okay. We need to go to I. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Don't tell me if Cost is going to die. Please. That's a kill. So straight through her. <laughs> through the ribs and out the shoulders. Yeah. Our food! Hey! 
Garrett! Garrett, no! She's not fighting yet! It's over! Could you don't do it! Shit! Are those the last of our supplies? Oh shit. So we're gonna be we're hungry, we're wounded, and we're tired. And we're cold. We can't stay here. You're hurt. Great vacation. I ten out of ten. I recommend it to anyone. Come on! We can rest up ahead. <laughs> 